G'day folks. Just thought that I'd show you how I go about uh, electrolytically cleaning and de-rusting the inside of sealed vessels and other type devices, especially cylinders and pieces of tubing. The uh, piece to be clean in this case is my Billiers fuel tank. By most regards it's fairly unsalvageable, there's a lot of rust, a lot of pinholes in it and that's before I even clean the inside out. Still full of rust. <coughs> I've had it in the tank about 24 hours and it's cleaned the outside nicely and revealed, well, quite a few little uh, holes here, there and everywhere. So it's going to require a full tin coat with lead solder or tin solder. But for the purpose of the exercise I'm going to clean the inside. And what I've done here is I've taken a piece of steel bar well, it's actually hollow tubing for an old printer, bright steel. Soldered a anode lead, just a piece of copper wire, into the inside of it and bushed it off with a rubber bush and a bit of silicon. Now electrolysis attacks soft metals very quickly. The copper lead and the solder that's joining it to the steel would degrade long before any of this rust de-rusting is done and it would break the circuit and probably short out against the insides or the anode would collapse inside. So I bushed it off with a rubber old spark plug lead bush and a bit of silicon. So as long as you protect that connection, that lead solder connection, all that's going to be rusting is this sacrificial anode. And that will simply be inserted like so. The tank will be sitting like that inside the tank, vertical in that electrolysis system and what I'm going to do to stop it from collapsing inside and hitting the side of the tank I'm going to use this piece of scrap copper wire as a sling so I feed it over pull it up tight and uh, wedge this bush in the opening so that sacrificial anode is suspended right in the center of the tank and it cannot collapse or sit down on the uh, tank itself and short out because this tank will be the negative pole of the power supply and this wire will be the positive so if that sacrificial anode were to collapse and short out against this it will short the power supply and shut it down it won't damage the power supply but it will still shut it down before the process is complete so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up the sling and make sure this is ready to go it's basically a good example of what I was talking about before. Once you loop the uh, cable over the sacrificial anode, you can sort of pinch it in place with the rubber bush and keep it there. That silver rod in there is the sacrificial anode. So as long as it isn't actually touching the inside of the tank, sitting right in the middle, it will work very well. Well, the next step, the radio cable scrap bin. Find some bits of wire, fling it off your cross arm or your cross member. Now these blocks here are filling into the sides of the tank, which is the blue plastic tub that I'm using. And as long as you've got this opening vertical so that any hydrogen bubbles can exit, everything's good. If you end up with a heap of bubbles, like this tank literally half filled with bubbles, if it were lying on its side, and all those areas that are exposed to the gas bubbles won't be cleaned. You want to keep as much surface exposed to the solution as possible. If it's half full of gas, that gas covered area is not going to get cleaned. So just fling it up in the middle, make sure it's level, and turn the power on and let it run. I'm going to leave this about 48 hours. Well, the tank's ready to run. I've got my new sacrificial anode hooked up as best I can. I'm not going to use anything too sophisticated, just wrap the wire through the holes and clamp her on. Negative leads hooked up to the tank itself. Alligator clips are just fine. The sacrificial anode suspended inside just right and everything's fairly level. So, get the power up. Well, the camera battery died at the worst possible moment, but we've been going about 25 minutes, 
and everything's fine. Got a foam and bubbles coming out of the tank itself. To the uh, inlet at the highest point. Good. Obviously, I had to block it up a little bit, but it works. Dead in centre with the uh, anode plates around the outside. Try and minimise current load on them. Get as much current as I can onto the inside. And it's running just fine. I'm going to leave this about 48 hours. Well, thanks for watching folks. I'm going to pop this up and I'll let you know how it goes after that.